I tell my nephew, real young, don't fall asleep with your shoes on. It's a thing, man. I drew on his face, too. <laughs> and we fell asleep coloring. Like, come on. You knew it was going to happen. It was like, you set yourself up, bro. Don't fall asleep next to markers. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Entertain Links Spoiler Talk. I was about to say Entertain Links Podcast. This Entertain Links spo- Entertain Entertain thing. Entertain Links. Ah, put some stank on it. Entertain Links. Entertain Welcome links. to Entertain Links Podcast, where we talk about movies and anything else we find interesting. I am your host. This is not the podcast. Why did I say it's the podcast? It's Entertain Links Spoiler Talk. <laughs> I just had a whole thing about the whole bit not being the podcast, and I just said podcast. Entertain Links Spoiler Talk. Where we talk spoilers, 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 spoilers about the things that we watch. Uh, we just watched American Gods. I'm here with my co-host Raven. I didn't even introduce you, Raven. No, you didn't. You were oh. slacking. Today, I am man. slacking completely. Dag. I think I'm excited. Just because it's not a Sunday. We're and like we're reviewing something for TV. Yeah, we're doing a TV review right now. Yes, yeah, so this is a TV review. Which I'm pretty sure you guys might already know because it's like on the title of this true podcast. True, but for us. This is kind of a surprise to you. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. What is that? What is that? I have is no that idea. Dying? It's like a dog being choked out. There's a dog just being choked. <laughs> like, it's not funny, but it does sound like that. <laughs> You're laughing at a dog being choked. I'm not laughing at a dog being choked out, but the sound of a dog being choked out while we're recording is kind of funny. That's better. There we go. It's a lot better now. You guys are probably yeah, hearing a lot better. It's like, oh my god, you guys sound a lot clearer. I still feel if like I sound. If you're worried about the dog, he sounds fine. All right, this is good. This yeah, is good. I think this is good. This, this is, good. is solid. I think I need to use a little solid. bit. Solid. A little bit. Solid as a rock. That's what this <laughs> love is. It's supposed to be short. You're right. We're already over the time that the whole thing was supposed to be. We were supposed to do like a quick little thing. Yeah, talk. We started. So American Gods, Raven. We watched American Gods. Yes. What is American Gods about, even? What American about? Gods? Now, if I would have to say it without reading any notes, I would say that American Gods is a show about gods that have been forgotten in a time where we've grown to not need them. Or to assume that we don't need them. So it's gods that are trying to reclaim their Reclaim name. from who? I think it's a battle between the old gods and yeah. the new gods. There's like the tech gods. And then there's like the old mythological gods. Yeah. And it's all about the battle for power now. Or who's going to rule over the new generation. And I think that's pretty much exactly what it is. Right? Boom. Exactly. But we're, seeing this, attention. we're seeing this through the perspective of Lincoln. I mean, Shadow Moon. Lincoln. Oh, Lincoln. We're, I mean, we're yeah, gonna, sure, Shadow Moon. Lincoln. We're going to call him Lincoln Shadow oh, no, Moon. Those, Shadow, those uh, of you Shadow who watch Lincoln. or mm-hmm. those of you who watch The 100 will understand why we say Lincoln. Yes. And those of you who don't. Ricky well, Whittle. Those of you who don't, well, watch The 100. Who doesn't know out. yet that he's my future husband. Yeah. We're seeing this through the perspective of uh, Shadow Moon. And Shadow Moon is introduced to us as a convict. He did something. We don't know exactly what he did. Why he's I think there. they said something along the lines of gambling. Yes, along, but we don't know, ex- but we don't know exactly specifics. what he did to get yeah, in. The specifics, but it's along those lines. It's not like he was a murderer or anything mm-hmm. like that. But he can take care of himself. But apparently he whoops ass. Yeah, exactly. And he's known to kick ass. Oh, exactly. And um, who's messaging me? Stop messaging me. I should have my phone <sighs> off. Silence your cell phone, David. I know. I should David. do this. I should do this all the time. Jeez. But, but um, he... He was going to be released. He was six days from release. Has yep. a dream about his wife. And, then, and the noose. And the noose. Oh, yes. And then he's called her to say, hey, I'm feeling something's wrong. Was well, his girlfriend? No, wife. Because it was the wife. wedding ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his wife. And then we find out that he's, he finds out he's about to be released early because of something. Then finds out, oh, his wife was killed. Yes. Yeah, so they decide to release him a couple of days early. And then he finds out. His wife died sucking his best friend's dick. Oh sh- shit! Yeah, that was that was like damn. Like, what do you do about that? Like, that was very like oh shit. Because I knew that they were gonna have to do something to, you know, to like sever that tie. Because there's always that um, what do you call it? The heroes uh, like when they're like reluctant 
to be the reluctant hero. Yeah, the reluctant you know? hero. So like even like the whole thing, like the call to the job, you know, oh, yeah, we need you to do to this action. job, blah, 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 the call to action. He needed that reason. And, you know, I was thinking like, how are they going to separate him from his wife? And then when it's that, you're like, ooh, I'm yeah. sorry you had to go through that, bro. Yeah. Yep. This is one thing, like, because I was thinking, like, they they got into a car accident. And I'm thinking, I don't want to assume it's cheating. See, that's and the thing. you keep thinking, I don't want to assume it's cheating. I thought it was that too. You're like, uh, and then I'm I was like, maybe like, they're just want... driving around together. Maybe they're friends, you know? Like, <laughs> maybe they're just going out for a late night, you know? Maybe they get an ice cream. Like, see, see, this is how certain things and happen. Then at worst, <laughs> maybe they were going to cheat. Not in the middle That's of... That's the thing. I was like, I don't think they cheated yet. Maybe they're thinking about it. Maybe maybe it's just a thought. Or maybe, you know, maybe they're like getting some party decorations it, late it was literally for his surprise party. of cheating. And yet, I mean, this is a very R-rated show first. This first yeah, I will not, say that. I mean, too. not this podcast. So I this mean, is an R-rated podcast because the it's an R-rated, R-rated show. And the show is R-rated. I mean, all our podcasts are R-rated, really. Yeah. I mean, Bob already said dick <laughs> within the first, like... And it was, they're, saying, they're saying dick <laughs> and they're saying she died with a cock in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> That's What did you say? Is, it, is dick a better word than no, cock? Just, I don't no, know. no, I'm saying the phrasing. The, the phrasing, sentence, yeah, the whole yeah. entire sentence. Died with a cock in her mouth. It was also like, damn, you found out at her funeral and that's from thing. her best friend who's married to your best friend that your wife had her husband's dick in her mouth when she is, died and that her husband is now dickless. And her it's probably up his ass. <laughs> she said, I had it put in a special place. <laughs> and here's, here's the thing, right? It's um, oh. when she first said that, I thought she was just using a metaphor for like they were sleeping together. Yeah, exactly. But when later on she starts describing it, she's like, she "No, old literal." Dick <laughs> <laughs> he asked me. The coroner asked me, "What oh, do I want to do with it?" <laughs> exactly. What do you want to do with it? She said, "I told him that's to, so morbid." I told hilarious. him to leave it where he found it. I was like, <laughs> "Oh shit!" Oh, we're getting ahead of ourselves though. That's like later on in the Sorry. episode. But it's it is. I mean, it's part of his journey of his emotional state. But um, let's is. go back a bit to the beginning. All right. Yeah. So let's start in chronicle. Chronicle. <laughs> chronological <laughs> in chronological maybe we order. shouldn't start there it doesn't seem meant to be all right yes we go chronologically we start from the beginning let's start out with that intro first off the opening intro sequence Just before we show any bit the of the show sequence. the title sequence blew my mind it, it was, was beautifully done literally within seconds that's what we forgot to look up we're supposed yeah, to look up supposed, things we, about we're this. supposed to look God up damn. the title sequence. no we'll do a whole next yeah. next podcast we'll talk about title sequence yeah we'll talk about the title okay, sequence we'll talk specifics in terms of detail because it's a very detailed title yeah. sequence and I feel like it's showing the story of all the gods or the main gods Maybe we have a podcast about title sequences Ooh. the best title Ooh. sequences Mm. Mm. See, Raven, now you're you're, yeah, you're, you're yo. making effort. Things are brewing. <laughs> there's there's things happening in this big no, 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 I, I understand why I I have you on this podcast. Fucks <laughs> ah, me, yo. I yeah, get it, it makes sense. But um, yeah, that title sequence is amazing, and I think we should do some research into title sequence because you do see imagery Definitely. of because you see hints at a bunch of different yeah just cultures and visually and, and yeah. like. Symbols. items and symbols yeah um and then it opens with those vikings going onto a new land and those arrows just completely turn the guy into a porcupine yeah. like he looked like a porcupine <laughs> like it was crazy it was crazy and then talking about how they were told to leave this new land but they only had a certain amount of time but they couldn't because the wind wasn't going wasn't working so they wanted to make a uh, sacrifice to the gods for the gods to appease them so they first make a statue of their god odin nothing happens so they think okay we have to do something else we're going to do sacrifices. They all start stabbing each other in the eyes and do this. That was ridiculous. Crazy. We were like, oh, okay. That was crazy. We didn't expect them to start stabbing each other in the eyes. And then from there to go to war with each like, other. That war fight. scene was insane. Oof. Just bodies Oof. being severed, split in half, heads being cut off. Like, it didn't look like it was too much. It's somehow, like, it was weird. It was somehow still beautiful, though. Yes. It like, was even so though beautiful. it was gruesome and, like, horrific and graphic. It was still really beautifully done. It was so beautiful. Know? So it, it was like you didn't want it to end because you're like, I don't want to stop looking at this pretty color show. But at the same time, you're just like, no, this is fucked This up. is crazy. And and then you see the severed arm going flying in the air and just like through someone's neck. In slow-mo too. <laughs> it's like, oof. Slow-mo. Just I was like, okay. Neck. Oh. That's how you start a show. That's yeah. how you start a, a good show. And then like, right okay. after that, it's crazy though, because then you see everybody say, I love Islas and stuff. And then we end up finding out later that Wednesday, who is, you know, Odin, 
It's supposed, you know, he's a one-eyed god. Yeah. So then you wonder how... all of the things that happen, even though, you know, we're watching. I'm like, sacrifice is ridiculous. Yes. You know, you're watching, you're thinking all this crazy stuff. But if Odin does have one eye, was he actually involved? You know, and, and the thing was is... that him that provided the the wind and, you know, did they actually yes. need to go to war for them to leave? And it's also the story of how, because when they said the story uh, a couple of centuries passed and some, they came back again, like a future generations of the Vikings, and they found the carving of Odin. So that's, and this new world's supposed to yeah, be exactly. America. And that's how Odin got to America. Yeah. You know, and things like that. And so this, this, I think we're going to be seeing the different gods and how they all came to America because they, and they, the title's called American gods. It's not world gods. Yeah, it's it's a battle gods, for America. Yeah. It mm -hmm. seems, you know, it's not a battle for the world because America is the new, in, in the story, it's, it's the new power. So whoever controls that controls everything. That's what makes it interesting. Um, one of our favorite lines is what Lincoln's wife said. Waiting for the sky to fall is going to cause more bother than the sky actually falling. We love that line. We do love that line. Love that line. Definitely it's, it's love that line. It's a great line. I just want to say. It's a good line. I, 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 because I think it's very true to, you know, current times. And one of my other favorite lines is, uh, which is also true to current times, don't piss off those bitches in airports. Ha! <laughs> for real, though. <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious. That part was really good. Okay, let's talk about the sex scene. Oh, We've, we've definitely been waiting to talk about the sex scene. I didn't want to start there, but somehow I started with blowjobs, so that, my bad. That sex scene, like, yeah, wow. Yeah, that sex scene was... Okay, so we were talking about this earlier, or like during the show. How out of any enchantress, temptress, god, idol, whatever, that we've ever seen on screen, hands down, I think the number one female. Yeah, or at least the top three. Yeah, top three. Because if we're missing time. anything, it's in the top three at the very yeah, least. Yeah, like female temptress. I've never, I've never felt. I don't know. I've never really seen it portrayed where there was a female temptress or enchantress that took someone over to where beyond their mystical powers or like putting some type of spell on them, how they could be undertaken. Yes. I think this is my first time where I felt like, damn, even like she had no obvious powers. You know what I'm saying? Other than just being confident at yeah. first until they were already sleeping together. Yeah. Because she seemed so unassuming. You know, yes. like you weren't suspecting her. Not at all. To be Not that. To go you're thinking there. it's going to be, you're thinking it's going to be a good time with a nice, sweet, and sweet woman. You know? And she seemed, They're you know, old. she seemed humble. And yeah. like, you know, and the guy was kind of goofy. And you yeah, really, 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 way, really think, did okay. not want that sex scene to no. happen. No, I was like, you Ew. didn't want to see it. You didn't want to see it. You can imply it, and that's you bad were, enough. You were like, cool. You were okay with it being. Like with it happening because you're like you both need to get laid off screen, but you definitely didn't want to watch it. No, I went from being like ill gross, please don't, please don't to oh shit, I could watch this all day. I was like, I was Whoa. like, damn, you know, and I wasn't expecting it. And then it's like, wait, is he shrinking? Yeah, no, <laughs> it's like, wait, what's going on? Is this no. like camera tricks? And it's like, no, it's yo, like she is literally swallowing this man through her vagina, like and he's this and he's worshiping her. Yeah, while he's worshiping her, and like that's when you see her power, and that moment was like, wow. I was like, damn. Okay. I've never like I don't know. I've never seen just raw power portrayed that way, and just I don't know. I don't I don't know how to call it. Just just sheer woman power, and from a woman that's not obviously hot. No, that's the thing. These aren't I think that's the best part. These aren't people, people that we're that looking at as typically hot, hot, sexy. And they made it, you know, and that's also that's a. a comment to the acting yeah the and the acting. directing and the cinematography definitely because it was shot, it was shot beautifully. beautifully so beautifully because even and though the dialogue. it's really yeah and even though oh the dialogue's dialogue amazing is great. worship me it's great. oh it's so good mm. it's so good because at first you're just like oh she's a freak yeah and you're like oh no <laughs> oh Oh no 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 no! Like she, like, oh like she would have got, like, got me. She's a goddess. She would have got me. She would have got me too. Nope. <laughs> Damn. Because in the beginning he was like, maybe we should do this another time. You know, he's trying to be a gentleman. And it's like, oh okay, I worship you. Yes, my queen, <laughs> queen of Sheba, queen of the South. Ah, it's like, well, shit. I get it, bro. And then to contrast that, um, the 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 scene at the end, towards the end, when his girlfriend's best friend wanted to, like get it on with Lincoln. Or should I say Shadow Moon? Uh, and, and that like, was funny too, yeah, yeah because we were talking about people. it. How the two hot people that are about to sleep together, you're like, ew, no, it's gross, like, ew, don't. No. <laughs> when she's like, you don't want to sleep with this person at like your husband's grave. Yeah, he's so like, he spit his shit. She into said, his grave. I'm going to put this gorgeous man's <laughs> cock in my mouth. Ew. 
<laughs> it was so disgusting. It was so graphic. I'm going to spit it on my husband's grave. She's oh. like, oh, come and she's on. Like, and she's like, wow, I, could, I don't know. I, could, I didn't know I could be this angry. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, I didn't know I could be this angry. It's like, oh, yeah, I definitely want to sleep with you now. Gross. Uh, like Ew. jumping on him and just like typically. He's just I, like, I, Ugh. I lo- And I love that. You know, it's subverting um, expectations because. I love it. It's killing stereotypes. It's really. completely killing that. Actually. Or the cliche. You yeah, know? the cliche. Or even the leprechaun. Like, you're a leprechaun. You're a bit tall for your leprechaun. Well, that's a stereotype. <laughs> <I love> that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I think he, the leprechaun. And since we're on him, Schneider. Yeah, uh, yeah. What's. No, Schreiber. Schreiber. What's his first name? Uh, something Schreiber. 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 Bob. Schreiber. Bob. 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 Bob Schreiber. Bob Schreiber. Pablo. Dan. Oh, Pablo. Pablo. Shit. Yeah, and yeah, There's Pablo a Schreiber. B-O in there. Pablo Schreiber. You never think his first name is Pablo. He definitely would, but <laughs> Pablo Schreiber. A lot of us know him from Orange Is the New Black as what the hell is his name in Orange Is the New Black? I'm not doing good at this. I'm no. sorry. He's he's the creep cop. We all I, know him I, as a creep I, I, cop. I Nobody watch. knows his real name. Either way, he's mustache. George. George. George porn something. Porn stash. Yeah, I think so. I don't. I don't watch the show. Either way, they call him porn stash. All the y'all that actually watch the show will know what I'm talking about anyway. <laughs> but either way, he actually surprised me because I didn't really think. Oh, he's half young brother of Lee Schreiber. Oh, ha. <laughs> that makes sense. Duh. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Sure. All right. Yeah, there it is. Oh, cool. yeah. Fun fact. There it is. Uh-huh. Fun fact. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Pablo Schreiber did a really, really, really great job of, you know, just convincing me that he was somebody other than porn stash. Like, in the show, in, a, in Orange is the New Black, I actually kind of hated his acting. And I thought he needed a lot of work. And I didn't really think I, I would ever like him a in a different work. show. Yeah, I really didn't think I'd like him in a different show. Because I was like, he sucks. But um, in the show, I really like him a lot. And I think... Uh, not that not that he's like... Um, not that he's character acting. Not that he's like typecasting at all. But it's like his style works well for the character. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the visuals of the show. Visually, we're both visual people, Raven. We like, yes. We're easily swayed by good visuals. Yes, That's our Achilles heel, but not to the point where we ignore story. Sorry, Zack no. Snyder. Story first. Zack Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. For real though. You, I mean, your stuff is pretty. Yeah, I'll, I'll but, give you that. Uh, but, substance. Uh, substance. But this yeah. had both. This could have been a show that exactly could have gone two ways. It could have leaned so much on visual and no substance, or the other way around where it's visual just for the sake of it, trying to be abstract because it's cool. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Or you know when the, And try- it's crazy too because some of the shot selections you could look at and think as think of as slightly unnecessary. Or like certain things that you wouldn't think would make it to the final cut. You know, yeah, like yeah. we were talking about it earlier where there's a scene where Lincoln um shit, what's his name? Moon. <laughs> Shadow, Shadow, Shadow Moon. Moon. How do you forget a name like Shadow Moon over Lincoln? But his name is Lincoln. <laughs> anyway. Um, so there's a scene where Shadow Moon is using the urinal. And oh, in that, that was moment, a great shot. it was a beautiful shot somehow of a dude peeing. peeing, you know? <laughs> so it's like, that goes to show you how well the, the whole show is shot. This you know, that true. scene alone. This is true. A man is pissing and we're, we were so into it. You know, certain things, like even scenes that I would normally think of as gruesome, like, you know, or not gruesome. I love gruesome stuff, but, you know, blood But not, not for the and, sake of it. It's got to look it artistic. It's really pretty. Yeah. It looks artistic. And certain close-up shots or, and cutaways. It, it never looks gross. No, it somehow never looks gross. The lighting is done really, really well. And they do a great job of tone. And I think that the shot selection pairs really well with the tone that they created in the story. Yeah. You know, it's like, had they created a different tone uh, visually, even um, audio-wise, you know, like the, the whole tone that they created, if it was different, a, a shot like a guy pissing in a urinal wouldn't be as pretty. It'd look disgusting. <laughs> like, why am I looking at this? Exactly. Why did you, why really did you choose that shot? Of all the shots, you went through a group of people and nobody said, this shot's stupid. Nobody's like, don't put that piss scene in there. Yeah, But, this, but you did, and it worked. And it worked. I was like, you okay, know? go on. That worked. Um, anything else to talk about? Anything that stood out to you outside of everything? Outside of everything. Um, I, li- I like how the bet was done. I like Ricky Whittle a lot. He's great. As He's a lead great guy. Lead. Let's great talk about lead. him as the lead guy. Let's talk, let's talk about him. Okay, I'll tell you this. I, I liked him in The 100. Great character. I loved him in the 100. I wasn't My only sure. My complaint was I didn't have enough of him. Could he uh-huh. lead a show? 
Yeah, I was worried. I, about I was worried. Lead. Could he lead, or would he seem like a second string actor? Because he wasn't. He was. It was a main character in One Hundred, but it wasn't a main character. No. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, can you go from that to leading a show? You didn't even go to the second step. Yeah, you weren't even supporting. <laughs> yeah, you weren't even main supporting actor, and you go from like side character story to serve really to serve another person's story. You know, he yeah. was there to serve Thingy story, really in One Hundred um, Octavia. So to go from that to oh, Octavia. to lead your own show and against big actors, because people like Ian McShane, they're not small time people. Ian McShane is a huge actor. You know, you, you have to stand with them. We'll talk about him next. And <laughs> he 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 did a great job. I think yeah. he did a fantastic job. You know, um, there's a line in that Ian McShane says, I don't know verbatim, where he says, you do a good job of making people think you're dumb under that brute body. Yeah, and, and I like that they said that in episode one too. Yes. Because it kept me from feeling the way that I felt with um, Mad Max. Oh. You know, like the most recent Mad Max. Yes. Was it Fury Road? Yes, Fury Road. Yeah, so I felt like it was different, you know, like Tom Hardy's he character. He would be a good Mad he Max. He was so stoic and so brute to where you kind of couldn't relate to his character. It was just, just it felt like just it. for the sake of it. Yeah, like it felt like you lost his motivations, you know, whereas I think that Ricky Whittle did a really good job of balancing the brute or you know and also it really helped a lot that they explained it in episode one you like for people to think you're dumb exactly you know and i also like that he also states how many books he read while he was locked up yeah because he said that he read um yeah it was six books a week every week for three years yeah so i think he said it was something like 813 books or something like that he read and um he was also talking about how he loves math and all this other stuff so it's like you know, off the bat in episode one, that he's an intelligent, tough guy. Yeah. And he's also a reluctant fighter, you know, but he's good at it. Yeah. So I think we got a lot from his character, you know, in episode one, we, we found out so much. And I feel like for us to fully understand that he would have had to do a good job. So he did great. And I love it. I love it. Um, Ian McShane. I love his intro. Oh, as, as the I love Ian the McShane. The hustler at the airport. <laughs> he's great. Also, you know what I love too? I felt like his character was seamless from who he is in John Wick. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Like to me, it was the same universe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if it, I don't know if it dawned on you until uh, now, but the whole hilarious. time, that is so. I was true. thinking to myself, that's the same guy. He's the lead guy. The coin flips. Like, there's literally there are <laughs> coins. There are assassins. You know, like he's the head of this underground ring thing. He's in charge. Like, Where there's rules. Yeah, exactly. It's and he has this relationship guy. with this young man that exactly. he sees talent in. <laughs> he has this like unspoken relationship, you know, with this badass killer guy. So that maybe, nobody has information maybe John Wick on. does happen in the world of American Gods. Because I just would that, love to see that bridge. It's just <laughs> hidden. It's just more hidden. Because in the book, the book takes exactly. a while. When you're reading the book, um, I haven't read the whole book, but I know a lot about it. You don't find out from the beginning that these are real gods. You're yeah. believing that this is true. Like, this is a normal world. And any weird things, you're seeing it from the perspective of Shadow Moon. So he's like, wait, what's going on? Am I just tripping or whatever? And it's only till later on in the book that you realize, oh, shit, all this craziness isn't craziness. It's actual gods. Yeah. You know, so maybe that's what John Wick is. It's before the realization. He's a god. <laughs> right? There's an awakening and then he just ends up finding out he's a god. It would make a lot of sense, actually. A lot of sense. Um... Okay, yeah, so going back to Amy Shane's sense why character. He die. We like him, Mr. Wednesday. Um, it doesn't explicitly say he's Odin, but those of you who know Norse mythology, you can yeah. figure it out. You know, Wednesday, I think, is Woden in uh, Norse mythology and Woden, Odin. You yep. know, they're all named after the days. Of, Thursday is Thor's Day. Thor's Day. You know, and um, so you can figure out, I think the show, I'm not sure how the show will, will kind of officially say these characters these characters but there's a lot of hinting and stuff like that and a little bit of spoilers here uh there's been some images released for future episodes and you see some um, images with ian mcshane and some ravens on his shoulder and that's a very classic imagery of Odin. Yeah. yeah and the norse tiny come on it makes sense come on it's obvious come on guys yeah but and we'll be seeing other gods from other mytho other mythology sets um i think that's it we liked it we've talked a lot about it anything else we liked anything it about? a lot um there's a lot anything else Ooh. What happened in the end? Something in the end shocked the both well, the, of us. Well, the end is just like how whoever saved him, he was about, he's getting lynching because oh, Tech Boy oh, wanted to get info from that's him. That's also something I want to talk about visually. That oh. end scene, end sequence, even though we've kind of mentioned it, that last pull away shot of all the blood and him just sitting there, oh, epic. 
I cannot wait to see who the hell that yes. was that killed all those people. Not or killed, if those are straight just, up murderized. Just obliterated just these obliterated people. obliterated them. And also, like, I kind of wonder if they're connected to Wednesday. Because I'd like to think that Wednesday has those kind of connections. Well, I was going to say, someone saved him. Like, like I, I think... Because I'd like to think that it's Wednesday, but it could be a completely opposing force that's like the neutral ground. Because yeah. we haven't met the neutral yet. Because I think, I think Wednesday obviously has some friends. And I think... Exactly. I, th- I even think, um, what's it called? Shreba is one of them but mm-hmm. in, in a reluctant way i think the shriver is like testing him yeah. you know i yeah, don't exactly. i don't think that he's on an opposing force. no i think he's with him he i wants think to he's see, gonna be his crazy sidekick he's that, he's that person that when wednesday said i want to recruit him she was like mm, him is he worth it exactly I you know that's i, I feel like it. he's gonna end up being his like wacky sidekick yeah i want to see more of him but again there's other characters we have we've yet to see we know famous actors and actresses are going to be in the show like uh we uh, orlando jones he's going to be in it orlando uh, jones is definitely going to be on there later I did not like his wife, mm. <laughs> Emily what? Browning. Oh, Emily I'm Brown. hating though. I feel like, like I mean, before well, she's the whole dead now with a cock in her mouth. Before Are the whole happy? cock in her mouth thing, <laughs> I was hating. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, ew, Emily Browning. That's your wife, really? It's because Ray. I'm not gonna lie. I had a girl moment. Not so secretly had but, a crush. Oh, you, you guys should have. If you guys, so I wish secret. you guys could see the moment. Right, Raven has a huge <laughs> thing for Lincoln. Obviously, for Ricky Widow. I, I, I can't even. Really, really, I can't, you know, like it's obvious. Yeah. Like I even never think for him. Um. But then Raven had a complete uh, cliche, typical, stereotypical girl moment when as soon as he saw that he had a wife. And Dave tried to have my back as a friend. I will say that though, because Dave's natural like reaction was like really nice. So basically what happened is the show comes on or, you know, the sequence where the dream happens or whatever. And he sees his wife. I was like, uh, her. And when I go her, (laughs) Dave goes, oh, it's in a dream sequence. And I guess he's thinking like, you know, the way that she looks, the reason she looks that way is because of the dream sequence. I'm like, no, Also because it was like a a visual effect. It was like a visual effect. So I'm, I'm talking about commenting on the visual effect. Like, oh yeah, that must be a dream sequence. And then Ravens are like, no, her, her (laughs) as a girl, as his wife. I was like, really? <laughs> really? But I'm hating. She's trash, yo. And then she died with a dick in her mouth. So I was like, ha. Fuck you. That's my husband. Now you have a chance. Now yeah. I do have a chance. And I was sitting there while he was at her funeral like, ooh, if I slide in there now, is it too soon? <laughs> Hi, boo. I can console you. Come come here. Come here. <laughs> come I can here, make Lincoln. it feel all right. You don't need to be shadowing me. You can be Lincoln today. <laughs> you be my Lincoln. Um... Anyway. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's all. On that that's all. all on that note. That episode we liked it. In summarizing everything, if you didn't realize, we liked it a lot. It's a yeah, great, great we liked show. It, a lot. it plays into things that we like in terms of genre television, and they it, had me within the first thirty seconds. Yep. They had us at hello. Yep, it we're goes, hooked. It goes we will all be out there with, every week. I like that. It doesn't hint. No, fantasy. it just goes for it. It doesn't tease at the fantasy. That's why I like. I hate when shows. Te- it's a fantasy show that teases the fantasy. Go all out. Like what the hell. Go all yep. out. Dream sequences, everything. Take it. Beautifully the shot. Is abstract. Beautifully done. But good it, acting. But it's not in a way that seems like, oh, you're just trying to be, to yep. show that you're, you're smart and clever. Yeah, editing's you know? done really well. It's, it's really well done. So it's a uh, well done show. That was a great episode. And uh, we'll be doing this again every week. We'll be talking about yeah. the show. And uh, if you guys like it, let us know. Entertainlinks at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at entertainlinks. And uh, follow our website, entertainlinks.com. And check out our podcast, Entertain Links Podcast, where we talk about movies and anything else you find interesting. This weekend, we're watching uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That will be our next spoiler talk. We're going to talk spoilers about Guardians, whether they liked yeah. it, whether they loved it, whether we wanted to just like worship it, kind of like that guy worshiping, what's her name? Bill, yes. Bill, Qu- Bill Quist, whatever Bill Quist. her name is. Are we going to worship Guardians of the Galaxy like that? Again, let us eat um. it up in its vin- vagina. Vagina? I was going to say vagina. <laughs> Maybe that's the word. That's like your a word. Villain. That's your word. Vinagina. Villagina. Ooh. Villagina. Villagina. I kind of <laughs> like it. I, I've decided that I need some type of cool word for vagina for the podcast. That like, <laughs> is it me saying vagina on the podcast all the time or the P word or the C word? Yeah. So if you guys but think of a word, I guess. Let us, us know. <laughs> <laughs> What's a good word for vagina? Um, but yeah, we're talking American Gods next week. Hope you guys liked it. Let us know if you guys liked it or you guys didn't like it. Actually, don't let us know you don't like it because we don't want your kind listening <laughs> to our stuff. But let us know if you guys liked it, who are your favorite characters and what do you expect coming forward from the season? And if you've read the book or not and how similar or different it is from the book. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Raven. Thank you, Dave. My name is English Dave, and this has been an entertaining spoiler talk for American Gods Episode 1. See ya. <laughs>